What makes college football so special? Some say it's the pageantry, others say it's the history, but many say it's the rivalries. USC versus Notre Dame, Ohio State against Michigan, Alabama against Auburn. Well, the Bobcats have had their share of rivalries over the years as the Division II team against Texas A&M Kingsville in the Southland Conference days, a rivalry against Sam Houston State. The Bobcats once played for a trophy for a paddle against Nichols State. So who do they consider to be their rival now? Well, I can tell you, it's UTSA. Sure, they've only played two games against each other on the football field, but judging by the crowds from those two games, you swear they've played 200. There's a mutual dislike for one another, a disdain rooted in sure proximity, but also in the history between hundreds of games played at the basketball court, the baseball diamond, and the soccer field. Steps up, he'll run it, look for the corner of the end zone, not going to get there. Ja'Shawn Waddick chopped him down to the four-yard line to bring up fourth and goal. And off road, running left, and he is denied. Gabe Lloyd. Snap to Williams, hand off Anthony Smith. No, play fake, pass is caught over the middle. Jeremiah Haydale, touchdown, Texas State. And pressured and sacked back in the 19. Sturm, and he's thrown back, loses the football. The Bobcats recover at the 40-yard line. It's rivalry games. It's always a different kind of intensity about them. And being in San Antonio, uh, a lot of people come out to the game. We got a lot of friends on UTSA team, so you know, like the trash talk has already started. So I'm, I'm excited for it. So here at Texas State, it's beat UTSA week, and in San Antonio, it's beat Texas State week. Whether you bleed rune and gold or blue and orange, there's no denying that this is your red letter game. And game three of the series kicks off Saturday at six in the Alamo Dome. For the Path Texas State football, I'm Brian Freeman.